like the little one. Yeah, I like the little one. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we're heading into Louis Vuitton to check out some bags. I have been loving the monogram once again. I've been really turned off monogram for a few years now, so I don't actually have a monogram bag in my collection anymore. But the other day I went into Louis Vuitton and I tried on a couple of speedies and the Christmas animation speedy nano and I absolutely really love them again. We didn't have a lot of time that day so I left everything there to have a think about all of them because I just wasn't sure if it was just going to be a spontaneous decision to buy like a speedy but I've been thinking about them so we are going back into Louis Vuitton to have a look at them again to see if I really like them and while we're at it there are a couple other bags that I really wanted to check out so I wanted to take you guys along with us today so the first part of the vlog is going to be from that other day I did film a little bit that day as well so I'll include that first at the beginning of this vlog and yeah let's head in The Nano Speedy with the Christmas illustration really caught my eye, so trying this one on. Also thought it would be super cute to hand down to Baby C once she's a little older. I like that you can wear it on the other side for the plain monogram look. So it's like getting two bags in one. Yeah, because this is small enough for like a yeah, three-year-old. Correct, correct. I put, this one is the monogram version yeah. without the pattern. You can have a try it as well. Uh, I wanted the Nano Speedy in forever, I never came in stock. Yeah, I know. And now there's like Nowadays, a we plenty have of them. <laughs> I think yeah. it was two years ago that I really wanted it. Yeah, oh. but at that time it's so hard to get. So hard to get. Were you here at that time? Yes. Yeah. At that time it's more like. It was you so either need to have a connection in store, you yeah. have like a regular kind of visor that helps me. The on front leather versions are chic too, but I think I prefer the monogram with the speedy silhouette in general. This strap is pretty overpowering. Yeah. Also having a look at the Kirigami pouch set with the Christmas illustration, I found it interesting that these Christmas animation pieces were still available. I wonder if they're not as popular as they once were. I like that you can wear the largest pouch as a clutch bag. Comparing the Speedy Size 20 to the Neno, they are both so cute. The 20, which is a size that we've never seen before. It is very comfortable to wear as a crossbody bag. Also, a comfortable top handle bag. Very user friendly for sure. Do you like the little one? Yeah, I like the little one. Mini bags to very large bag. Okay, this is too big. It's a good nappy bag. Of 
Aquos trying on the Speedy 20 in monogram first. The Alma Nano is super cute. I love the epi leather so much. Very chic. Also weirdly like the mini bum bag, which is so not my usual style, but there is just something that I really like about this one. Just not sure what it exactly is that I'm drawn to. Checking out the on the go from the new denim collection. Honestly, the denim kind of feels flimsy and not substantial, but might be better in a smaller, more structured bag style. Out of LV and now we're sitting down at a cafe to grab some lunch and I want to share my thoughts with you guys I haven't really decided what I want to get or if I'm actually gonna get anything because I don't know I haven't really been into monogram for such a long time that it's so strange that I'm really into it again I really really love both the speedies the speedy size 20 and the nano both in the monogram I especially love the Christmas edition one but my hesitation is, one, I don't know why I'm into the monogram again, so maybe I'll just get sick of it really quickly, so it'll be a really sort of irresponsible purchase, so I want to have a think about it. But also the sizes, size 20 still feels a little bulky, but I do like that I'm gonna be able to fit all the extra bits and pieces. It'll be a really nice travel bag as well. So I love the look of the Speedy Nano better, but I feel that the Nano is a little too tight to fit all my essentials and I just don't want to have to necessarily play Tetris to fit my stuff in there. Even though I really love the Speedy Nano, especially in the Christmas animation print, um, because the Christmas animation limited editions are less faked, they're a little more unique, you don't see them as often. So that was definitely something that really drew my interest but I'm at a point in my collection where if even one thing bothers me about a bag I don't think it's worth adding to my collection and that capacity being a mini bag makes me really think do I really need another mini bag because I think the gap in my collection at the moment is a medium sized bag where I can just chuck a few extra bits and pieces in the bag so the Speedy 20 would be a really great idea for that, but I think I need to have a think about it. I also really love the mini bum bag because I feel like for the price point, you get a lot more design features like the chain, the pocket. Oh, I also wanted to mention the Speedy Nano in the Christmas edition is 3050 Australian dollars, which is exactly the same price as the mini bum bag. So I just feel like for that price point, it just really didn't feel really worth it. It's just a speedy bag, whereas the mini bum bag just has a lot more bells and whistles to it. So I feel like it's a little more worth your money. Also, I was surprised to check out a denim piece from the new collection because it's not technically launched. Well, by the time this video goes live, I think it might have just been launched. Yeah, the denim, I don't know, it just kind of felt floppy. The sales circuit showed me pictures of the speedy nano in the denim collection as well, but I'm not sure about the wear and tear and that whole really vintage look. It just didn't look really pristine, so not a huge fan of the denim, but I definitely see the appeal with the whole Y2K fashion in style at the moment. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the bags that I checked out today. Do I need a speedy monogram in my collection? If so, which size do you think I would make the use out of more? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, thank you so much for coming with us today and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.